Hey there, my faithful companions. You've returned to Squeal's Gaming Channel. Today we're going to be playing Dragon Age The Veil Guard, or Dragon Age 4, previously known as Dragon Age The Dread Wolf Rises. I believe this is more of a direct follow-up to Inquisition than any of them, which is great for me because Dragon Age Inquisition was my favorite of the previous three. So we're going to kind of dive in today, get started on the story and the gameplay, um, see a little bit of the combat. I'm probably going to choose a magic play style, so I might skip through some of the character creation here. We'll see a little bit of it, but just so you guys know. Let's dive right in. Make sure if you guys enjoy this video and the content, you like the video, subscribe to the channel so that can help me out as always. And thanks for watching, guys. Let's get into this. Love to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the Veil cost the Elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that Veil and undo the damage he caused. Even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's gotta stop him. And that's... Where you come in. So it looks like we've got some of our character creation here. Uh, you can choose your lineage, which um, I'm sure most of this matters. I know I don't want to be a dwarf. don't usually like being a plain human. So it's either one of these two. I'm not really sure which one I would benefit from more, to be honest. Um... I do enjoy a good elf. Kind of want to go with one of these guys. And cycle their appearance. Yeah, you get some different kinds, I guess. Some presets, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I kind of like that. So then you can get into some deeper customization. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's kind of to the point now where so many games have comp uh, complicated character builders that I don't really, it's just too much now. I don't really customize characters very often. And you can change up their outfits. Casual, starting outfit, or armor. I do really kind of want to try the rogue. If I make another character, I will, but I'm going mage. I already know that for a fact. So now you choose your faction, which we got the Grey Wardens, the Veil Jumpers, the Shadow Dragons, Lords of Fortune, the Morn Watch, and these Crows. Um, so these have more obvious buffs. So I really like this outfit, so I kind of want to be a Shadow Dragon, truth be told. Um, I gain reputation with the Shadow Dragons more quickly, deal damage. Um, my class-specific resource regenerates slightly faster, so I guess there will be factions in the game, much like the previous one, to uh, kind of please. Let's see, what's another one I liked? Uh, the Crows... Hold an extra potion. So it really kind of just comes down to which faction you want to gain favor with and then your little ability. So like this one, I can apply additional affliction stack. Perform takedowns on enemies with slightly less effort. And deal slightly increased critical weak point damage. Base health and defense increased. So yeah, it's definitely one of the two I like. I feel like as a mage, my resources will benefit from this. So, uh, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to be that one. Now I'm selecting a backstory. Breaker of Bonds. Not really sure. Oh, I guess this is just... This is the backstory I have now. Okay. So I'm in... Selecting the play style now. Storyteller. Or I believe this is the... It's more the difficulty. So Unbound. I guess it's custom settings. So we have like five difficulties basically. I know I don't want Nightmare or Underdog. Adventurer maybe? Keeper. Storyteller is too simple. This might be a little more on the difficult side though. Adventurer. This is a balanced experience though. Emphasizes party composition and equipment choices over reaction times. We'll go ahead and try Adventurer. Hopefully I don't regret this. So now you basically just name your character. Um, mess with the voice a little bit. However you can go about that. And then your customization is pretty much done. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Guess I like first voice. There's only four I'm voices. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you you're here. Change the pitch. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Yeah, you know, the summary. I'll just kind of summarize everything you got going on with your character. But I'm gonna go ahead and name myself and. We'll get into whatever's next here. Oh, right. Him. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathos, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And the missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Sniff, Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dread Wolf. I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling, you're adorable. Dumat Plaza. The Venatory cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumat Plaza. 
I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. See you say that. But we do have Nev's location now, so... Don't get cocky. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The Archon's palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Well, that was all very interesting. Got some of the uh, classic dialogue well, options that uh, I think most of us enjoy in these games. Just get out of here nice and casual. I'm not kind of sure what type of character Solus. I want to be yet. I usually like to be a little bit more devious on the darker side if I can. So intimidating people, stealing things, breaking laws, all that. We'll see how uh, you still think you how much freedom this game has. Because I know it's not an open world game. I think it's more of a old school like level style game. Us from the but these environments, I mean this game already demons. looks amazing I just looking at it. So I'm sure we'll see some great places. This looks like the area that I've seen more in the gameplay. Uh, I watched a few trailers for this game. Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. Minrathus. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... Oh, crap. We're too late. The ritual started. But if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's this go. world is crazy. I love the lore here. Yeah, this looks exactly like the mission I saw in the trailers where we're just trying to get up there to Solus and stop him from doing the ritual. I believe this guy can be your companion eventually. He'll likely be the first one. I forget how many there are. There's like eight or nine. Um, I know I definitely want to use the Necromancer guy whenever I unlock him. You can have two with you typically. Uh, whenever we get through the intro to the game here. I'm kind of torn on who I want my second one to be, though. I know the companions kind of have chemistry between each other, too, so I might just have to see who's the best pair for the Necro. But um, I don't know much about all that, so we'll have to see how the companion mechanics really work soon. Hopefully, uh, do this mission and kind of really get started on the game. Get to free roam a bit more some people start seeing what kind of missions I have and how I want to dissect the game I could do a whole series on this game but I don't think I'm going to just because I don't really do videos quite like that anymore and this is gonna be a big game but there'll probably be a couple more videos even if they take me a little bit longer to make because they'll probably be more late game and uh, what about you two? Might take you me a minute okay? to get through this game. My next one, I think that I got as Path of Exile, which just got moved back to uh, December 6th. And that's another game I want to do some content for as well, but it's going to take me a while because I think with that game I'm just going to do class builds. Right over there. So that'll be definitely late game, but I'll have a couple classes. I'm definitely going to go with the Witch again because... As with this game, I want that necromancy so I can get more minions. That's why I'm picking that follower in this game, since I don't think I can summon much myself, even as a mage. But anyway, I know I'm probably a little annoying talking over some of the cutscenes, but it's just easier for me to ramble when it's not in the middle of gameplay, so I can focus more. You guys can watch me fail like I always do. <laughs> but at least this isn't a shooter, so I don't have to worry so much about precision. Don't worry. 
Scouting's my specialty. But I imagine Follow we're about me. to fight. I'm not sure if she'll get to be in the companion. Maybe. The guy definitely will. But he was from the previous one. So was Solus, technically. Solus used to be our homie. If you're not familiar with previous Dragon Age games. Um, particularly my dwarf guy here. He's like his best friend. So that's why... We'll see what what more motivations he has for going evil, because they kind of teased it at the end of Inquisition, but, uh... Here they come. Let's a little bit more on it. So I can jump. I got a light attack. Which, you know, varies based on what class you take, of course. I gotta get out of this corner, because this camera angle is killing me a little bit. So I can charge my light attack as well. Or you can just tap it. Yeah, I like the charged one. Oh, there we go. Left bumper is defense. So, me as the mage, I get the shield, I guess. Which is kind of awesome, to be honest. It won't stop the strongest attacks. I'm sure it'll tell you which those are. They might light up red when they go to do that or something. Let's see what this guy's got. Come on. So, it's... Good. It's Let's definitely still got that RPG them. feel, you know. I like the combat, I really do, and we've barely seen anything yet. What is this? This looks like a problem. No? Okay. Sometimes rat swarms are an obstacle in games that will kind of just mess you up, but maybe they still will be. Well, oh, back to what I was kind of getting at earlier before this epic game sort of distracted me. Yeah, like it's doing now. This looks amazing. Um, I don't know what all kind of content I'm going to do for this game. I'm definitely going to have a late game video where I showcase my build when it's fleshed out more, as long as hopefully the two companions I pick and what kind of abilities they got. I definitely want to see different environments in the game, like as far as my gameplay footage, because this one looks really awesome, but it's also the same one I've seen in the trailers, so I gotta, whenever I do another clip, I'll be somewhere different. But... Counting this one, I'll probably get at least two or three good good clips out of this game if you guys want to see a little bit more. Maybe let me know in the comments what kind of content you might want to see, even what companions you think you're going to go with, what class you picked, because I'd be curious about all that as well since there's so many different options you can go with, really. Okay, I was wondering if I could destroy that crystal to get through. Got another mage. Friendly bunch of cultists, aren't they? Used to fight these assholes every day in the Shadow Dragons. Glad you kept up practice. Ah, I'm getting really bad with the blocking. But at least we can heal, see how that's done. Oh, you can move too. Oh, that's helpful. It'd be cool if there was like a follow-up attack. So blocking, like if you block just right, or parry. There may have been and I just didn't pay attention, but... I've never graded that kind of style anyway. I'm usually more of a dodger. So as cool as the shield is, I could hopefully see maybe as like a mage, I could get a evade eventually, which is like a teleport. Because everyone will probably have their own. Here we got arcane shot. You push right bumper to... It takes 50 mana to cast it. Okay, so... And the mage regenerates mana over time, which is good. So, right bumper. Oh, and it like stops everything, so I can look at my targets, pick one and just pick the guy in front of me because he seems like a problem. And then I guess eventually you'll have a whole different bunch of moves here. So I'll have some more and then I can imagine these might be companion orders because they'll have their own skills. Um, so we'll see, but let's go ahead and do our thing, Scott. Just totally roasted that guy. This guy just broke my shield. Oh, there we go. There we go. Teleport. Literally like I was hoping. So that's cool. My shield's still rather cracked from that guy breaking it, so let's just end this. Got another guy here. Now we're getting it. Uh, I wanted to finish that one guy. And that's, uh... Either I don't, oh, I don't have enough mana. Not sure where my mana is displayed. Oh, it's down there in the bottom, okay. I've got this move as well. This is like a heavy attack. This is awesome. Do 
do a run attack here. Can I hold this? Yep. Let's see what it can do. Okay, I don't know what that did. It like charged my staff. Well, I'll have to figure that out in the next combat encounter. So we're finally getting into it a little bit. I think I've kind of finally gotten through all the thoughts I had today for this video. Oh, I know she's a companion. Because I have watched gameplay of a lot of the companions. Can't remember which one she is, like what she does, but I recognize her. Some of them might take a minute to unlock, so just because we're seeing her, I may not necessarily have access to her right away, but we'll see. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev, meet Rook. Both of you have done some work for the Shadow Dragons. Isn't that a coincidence? Some old friends said if I was working in Tevinter, the Shadow Dragons are worth trusting. We came prepared for a rescue. Looks like you were way ahead of us. A rescue? You're sweet. Since I plan to hopefully recruit her at some point, I, uh, gonna break my norms a little bit with conversation, definitely try to favor the things I say to her, just in case that has in a, any effect on if she'll join up with me or maybe later the kinds of relationships you can have with your companions. If this is anything like Inquisition, which it sounds like you'll have a whole squad eventually, I'm hoping there will be some kind of HQ in this game as well, like how the castle was in Inquisition. Even more so, maybe you can deck it out, customize it. If there is, that'll be in some gameplay, for sure. But I might actually shortly here cut around a little bit. So, we'll focus on the key story elements. But um, I mainly just want to get some gameplay today, so... So far it's been interesting. We kind of got the basics here. We know what's going on. Solus is causing chaos. So if we do catch Solus, Messing with the world. Whatever he calls himself. What's the I've got a full squad now. Yeah, I guess it's different because you're in a quest. So you can have two companions, but then if you're in a quest, you can have whatever quest people are with you. Eventually, we're gonna have to fight those things. And hippity hopping all around. We can slide down the long I'm getting too old for this. There. That's the building I tracked Solus to. Looks like the Venatori also found it. And then demons found them. Okay, there we go, there we go. That is what I'm talking about right there. One of the reasons why I picked the mage, because gotta love a good blast attack. Or a beam in this case. And it's not too bad with the mana, to be honest. The only Dragon Age game I ever actually beat before this one was, in fact, Inquisition, my favorite one. I did play both Dragon Age 1 and 2, but I never completed either one of them. Um, but I'm hopefully going to complete this one, even if it takes a while. But I don't remember exactly how I rolled in 1 and 2, but in Inquisition I was actually also a mage character in that one. So even though I almost wanted to be a rogue in this one and mix it up, the combat did look pretty cool. The, the magic in Dragon Age is just really fun. So, I kind of so wanted to use it again. Plus, they had some new moves that Want they didn't have in the last one, for sure. He's been here. New play Solus styles. Ancient. Solus has been around it's eventually the... I guess... I don't know if you blend classes, per se, but it seems like you're going to end up with like a hybrid play style when you get later on in this game. Like, I'm a mage, and then I can kind of mix it with something else. Like, I think what I mentioned earlier was I wanted to do this... I forget what it's called, but it's like a blend of daggers and magic. It's like a shadow mage or something. Looks really fun. So that may end up being one of my other videos. What do you see? 
No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. A little bloodthirsty and just started swinging at my own teammates there. So, yeah, I got a dagger now. It's a single dagger. I was kind of hoping for two. I want to heal. But we'll have to see what kind of moves this has got. Um, locked. Of course, it's locked. Open it. Let's look around. When is a door ever unlocked? Air is full of magic. Solus used a lot of power for something. Well, I don't know what that Solus is. You got a little a orb or something? Ben Harrell. He's got a lot of names. I always called him Chuckles. Chuckles. Yeah. See what he wants to be called in this one. I mean, Let's the Dread Wolf, the maybe. Side. But uh, I don't know. Maybe he wants to be called something else. Doubt he wants to be Solus anymore. This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's called an Alluvian. They're elven and... Well, we're not in Manrathas anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. We've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. Well, good, because I need something to cut up with this new dagger I got. Okay, so the orb this whole time, I'm an idiot, is the part of the weapon. I thought it was an item I picked up when I broke the jar. <laughs> I am so oblivious sometimes. Yeah, because it pops out whenever the dagger's out. Which is kind of a cool little combo. It is a dagger, but also it's still sort of magic, in a way. The dagger is really only just the way that you channel this. It's more like ice magic, I guess. Yeah, because it freezes enemies, and to be honest, that's really useful. I love freezing things. Ice is never really my favorite element, but the ability to freeze enemies in their tracks is always pretty uh, underrated in games, especially RPGs. Ideally, it'll be either ice and lightning or ice and dark magic. That was a good little mix of the combos. But, uh, as cool as the dagger is, I mean, it might be really useful against, like, single enemies. Especially being able to freeze as long as elites uh, aren't, like, immune to it. Which I'm sure I'll find out soon. I'm gonna end up fighting something tougher here. I don't think I'm supposed to jump down there. It's just some loot in there. I need to go up here. But yeah, I want to go back to the staff. Uh, definitely gonna miss that beam. Although, hold on, the block with the dagger isn't even a block, 
It might be more of like a parry, actually, so we'll have to try that. I was trying to be fancy and taunt him by teleporting around and then hit him, but no. But so yeah, the dagger's parry, that's cool. So I have both options, kind of what I was wanting earlier, I guess. But I do like the staff for its uh, bubble shield and the beam, for sure. This is pretty cool too, even though it's more of like a short range, almost shotgun type ability. It's just a wave, a short wave in front of you. Does good damage. Okay, here we go. We got something a bit tougher. Not a good time to be out of mana. This guy's pretty tough. I underestimated him quite a bit. Yeah, I need to remember to dodge more because I'm better about dodging than blocking. Oh, I can charge that a lot more. Okay, that's the one move I was kind of confused on. I think I got it now. Wow, that attack fully charged did quite a lot of damage. That was awesome. All right? Well, I feel like I got a basic understanding of my class now. So we should definitely at least have enough time left in this clip to see what's going down with Solus here and see wherever we end up, for sure. Kind of how the game starts out. Good intro video, as always. I'm pretty proud of this. But then again, it's also because this is actually a pretty good game. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm excited for, like, to really get into this, you know, put some time into it and where things open up to you a lot more. All right. Seems like I'll a good one. Here. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't going to stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Well, that was a really ominous thing to say. I don't believe there's... I think this guy, he should have plot armor. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure he's one of the companions you can have in the game. Kind of your main homie now, I guess. Let's buy him some time. Not expecting to just be fighting all of a sudden. Ah, jerk, sorry, right, hang on. Might as well mess one of you up. This guy. So 
clearly she's a mage type character. So depending on which companions you start off with, um, I may use her for a time. She seems pretty cool. People are dying right now. You need to listen. People are always dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? What work? He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Ned. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck. Yeah, sorry. It probably would have been wiser for me to pick the archer to mix it up a little bit, because now I got magic on magic, but yeah, so far I favor her. She's just dressed fancy, and she's got awesome moves. Much like myself, although I could be certainly dressed more fancy. I just got beginner clothes. But yeah, let's do it. Hopefully my decisions right now don't have lasting consequences. Like, I feel like somebody's gonna die here. Um, and it might depend on what I do as to who dies. So I mainly just want her. <laughs> so uh, she can be my companion and keep, keep rolling with that magic. But hopefully I didn't doom her by bringing her with me. I was hoping that I could protect her, if anything. Some obstacles can be destroyed, okay. This is a weird object to destroy. But I guess that worked. Why? Why tear down the veil? Knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. So that's why we're the Veil Guard, huh? We're gonna be trying to protect this Veil, I'd imagine. Or stop those that endanger it, like Solus here, the boy. Not the boy anymore. Together, now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! Okay, well I thought he was going to be the one to make it, but <laughs> that was a pretty good stab, so maybe not. And his weapon got shattered. So, uh... Oh, and he got a fancy stab. tell you, all the visuals in this game are something. It's a very visually pleasing game. At least for me. Uh, uh. 
So ultimately we stopped nothing. I mean, we kind of messed with his ritual, but main villain got away and it seems like there's a lot more going on here. The same threat is still pretty much in play. And the squad's already taken quite a hit. Wow, so we're out. But yeah, welcome to Dragon Age 4, everybody. The Veil Guard. That's it. Good little first act to the game. So uh, it's perfect, actually, because now we'll finish out this video. I got about no 10, 15 minutes done. left of my recording cap here. So we'll end up hopefully at like the real beginning point of the game like after we're done with the story and the cinematics here and it just unleashes us i know what i did i stopped you from destroying the world i was not destroying the world when you disrupted my ritual the magical energies pulled me here into the fade okay so that's why you're here but why am i here your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. All right, you brought me here to talk. I will admit, I do want to hear what he has to say. This is your rival for the game. Or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. I'm assuming the leader of the Inquisition you played in the previous enough. one is not who you are in this one. Obeyed, You're a whole worshipped. new character, I guess. When I rebelled, they drew so that means that you don't you really have much history with Solus, if that's true. I them. Thanks but then again, I don't know, maybe you do, and that's why he I'm chose to talk to you. It seems more convenient than anything, but... Free. Um, yeah, you're the hero. You let them out. Um, well, I don't, I don't know what to say to him in this one. You let them out. I mean, yeah, it's your fault, bro. This whole thing happened. Thanks to me. <laughs> I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. You were tearing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... ...quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. <laughs> okay, now I'm worried. Nah, we're gonna mess them up. I just need to gain some levels, get some you. skills, we'll get some good them. homies. I had a ritual dagger of pure lyrium. So Solus is a lot older than I realized. I mean, it makes sense because he's an elf and he's always had magic. Right now, you seem to have neither. Do you intend to knock over a statue during? He added so much more to his character than there was present with him in Inquisition. There was always like a shroud of mystery to him, kind of. But now it's like we get the full Solus. It's kind of crazy. I like the way the story has itself has transitioned. I'm actually kind of invested in this one. Why? Why tear down the veil? No! No! You have no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Got a new quest. And we woke up somewhere. Um, apparently, if there's bonus items, you can collect them. Mirror of Transformation. So you can, I believe, adjust your character somewhat, which I'm not going to do at the moment. And talk to your peoples here, which looks like everybody's in regular outfit. This is the mage lady. Actually, she looks a bit roughed up, which we did just have an intense clash. 
but they got regular clothes. That so they would have like battle outfits and then regular clothes. He's here I looking all I comfy. Could be out there with you, Rook. But he's got to rest. Also, I got some cool armor to start with. That's pretty cool. A common appearance. Which I can mess with in the wardrobe. So we got that. Well, that's actually pretty awesome looking. Kind of like... It's like a weird kind of blood effect, though, honestly. Heavier armor. Here we go. I like this more coat type look. I almost don't like the excessive batch of red there. But it is pretty cool. This is a really nice coat. So yeah, now I have something better than just uh, the basic starter clothes. So I'm going to leave that for now. Empty slot there. You can change the appearance of your weapon. So I don't know if you so much get different weapons in the game, but it looks like you can change the way it looks. And here's a list of all the things that I have currently collected. So there's a lot. I barely have anything, of course, because I just started. So that... I guess it's the difference between your battle outfit and your casual outfit. So I almost want to just make my previous outfit, my casual stuff. Yeah, so while I'm here roaming around... So this is, I guess, your base, so to speak. Um, I don't know if it's a castle or what it is, really. But we just came out of, like, a bedroom in there, and we're walking into a giant hall. We've got customization options and stuff here. Looks like the first collectible. Um, it's a lighthouse, is what this is, and it's actually my quest objective to explore it. You can see it's kind of a little bit messed up, so that makes me think that it definitely will be customizable here. So this is, in fact, your hub. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to include this in the first clip, but it looks like we're here. So that's awesome. And this is where your companions will stay, where you'll be in between missions, because I imagine you're just going to be traveling from place to place. It's not one big map. But I'm already kind of digging it. It looks very cool. So we'll check this out real quick. And probably call it a wrap on this one, guys. Rook, you're awake. And we're... In the Fade. This is where oh, this is a lighthouse in the Fade. So it's a cool lighthouse we got, and we're like in an in-between realm. Which I guess does kind of keep us safe, in a way. Yeah, it's unreal. And yeah, she is, in fact, a companion, like I said, I was right, so... Next. We should. Nobody really but died. That's cool. Got everybody. We might be here a while. Yeah, look around. That's what I'm trying to do. Gained my first level. Some mage core. Death caller. That is really cool. Got to be level 20 for that, though. Um, specialization, Spellblade. I kind of think I'm going to go with the, whatever specialization gives me awesome blast work. That's also pretty cool, Invoker. But um, I am imagine I probably have to go to my Mage Core before I can do anything. Yeah, I can't specialize until I'm 20. So I'm level 2. Looks like I'm almost level 3 already as well. Um, so I've got this spell here, Fade Strike. That's really cool. That I think I need to get that immediately because I'm more of a dodging fighter. So now I have a way to dodge attack. And you can uh, looks like you can just refund skills pretty much freely. So that's cool. I could refund that skill I literally just got. But uh, which way to go now? Mana regeneration. I'm not going to probably get too in-depth here into the skill tree here, but let's just see if we can get a wider view of it. Oh, and then you go down here, and it's the whole other specialization, so they're all kind of attached. But the main one is definitely the biggest. This is how I'll get more of my spells. So that was Meteor. So I figure out what kind of, what really what kind of spells I want to get here. Corrupted Ground. 
And then that'll help me also decide which way I want to start going on the skill tree. Frost Nova looks fantastic, so that's one for sure right there. Ice Blast seems pretty cool, but nothing compared to Frost Nova. Dark Squall. Looks like a little dark ball of energy kind of seems cool. Chain Lightning. I do like some lightning. That's pretty fun. Here's more lightning. You see Tempest. Yeah, Tempest looks pretty phenomenal. Just passive bolts of lightning to strike them. And then we've got this. Storm Surge. Which is a lightning ability that also kind of sends you back. Which might really be helpful. So yeah, I am going to kind of go in this direction. Um, I might get Chain Lightning, but it won't stick. So let's go ahead and grab this skill. Not sure how many skill points I start with. I'm three in now. Okay, so I had three. So I can go max mana, or charge attack damage plus 10. Both pretty useful. And you get like little traits too. So perfect cast to do a maximum charge. There's a lot here to really look at, but I'm not going to mess with it too much right now. There is a map. But um, each area is kind of different, so you can really only see the map of where you currently are. This place has multiple levels, and it shows you where all the companions are that I have currently, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and it lists your objectives on the side. So I want to gather the team at the table, which is where I guess you go to do missions. And I also want to talk to my two companions here. So other than that, it's pretty much just roaming around and exploring. Um... This place is quite a bit different than what I thought. The lighthouse seems to be where I started, which is the main structure. But it's the lighthouse and the lighthouse it grounds, so there's like a couple people way. here. What do we do now? What do we do? I guess maybe the companions all have their own little spaces too, perhaps. And that's hers. Let's see what else we got here. Some of these areas might be locked because they may require certain companions to access. Which is kind of what I'm thinking like for this one. This is a workshop. So somebody will be a companion that will also be set up with a workshop. Or maybe there will even be a couple companions you get that aren't really combat specific. They just uh, enhance your camp and give you abilities like blacksmithing or something. Figures are in the fate, but I yeah, she's the one I really want. So of course she's got a magic right. living space Strange here, little wisps into, and orbs. But I'll work with it. You know me. She's got more of this kind of like lab type thing. Not even a lab. It's more like an office. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'll have to take advantage of my character missing her. I guess if I want to romance her at some point. Dining hall. Yeah, this is looking pretty weak. So I'm pretty excited to see what kind of upgrades and stuff we can get. Interesting little balcony here. Oh, hey, hidden chest. So that's cool. Need gold for all kinds of stuff eventually. This is an interesting place. I wonder if I can accidentally run off the cliff, because that could be an issue if you could. Not sure what this here is. It's kind of like a little attached area. Oh, hey. To enter the library passage, three pairings must meet face to face. So it's like a puzzle of some kind. Um, I imagine basically that means you gotta make these statues all face each other or something. There's nothing in that direction, so let's try that. And then that, because there is a statue over there and he can be looking at. I don't see how we're going to have a third one involved. Not something I'll probably focus on too much at the moment here, but, uh... Not as much to see right now. It's kind of cool that I'm lightly viewing all this now, because it'll be interesting to... I'll definitely include in my next video. We'll see how this place has changed. Hopefully it'll look a little bit nicer once I spruce it up with some upgrades. And there'll be more companions here. Oh, hey, I found the other statue. So I'm not sure which way that one should face, to be honest. But another chest is always good. 
Oh, hey, here's another statue. So, I, that, that, that's like... Wait, unless this is that one. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, yeah, go that way. Or, there's this one as well. So, I, I've seen like four statues. Hmm. Face to face. Maybe there's three sets of statues is what I'm missing here. So there'll be another set of two somewhere I need to mess with at some point to uh, unlock whatever little random treasure that is. It's got a letter I can read there. I don't usually read much of this stuff in games. Just nab it if it's a collectible of sorts. But I guess I've talked to everybody, so let's gather at the table here. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? While I was out cold, he showed up in my dream and he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. He's also trapped in some kind of prison in the Fade. Not happy about that either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. So basically, we're stuck here. That's kind of what the summary of that little prolonged convo was. I didn't want to spend too much time on here. But we're stuck here, seemingly. I mean, I'm sure we'll find a way out and we'll tend to favor this place. It's a safe house. Oh, hey, we got our mirror. I guess this is how we travel. So no upgrading or anything really yet, but it seems like the plan is to investigate um, my two companions. Crossbow guy's out. So my two remaining companions were at odds about what to do, and I just favored the magic lady because I'm trying to gain her favor anyway. So I went with her plan. Oh, now we're all decked out, so we're heading out. So I have three companions, but one of them's MIA. So since it's pretty much just the two of them, I imagine they're going to be my first two, which we probably could have already put together. But now we're going to go here and I guess start gathering intel on these gods or whatever, our problems that we're suddenly realizing we have now. It's not just Solus. And see what the first major area of the game is. I'm not really going to explore it, I'm just going to tease it to you guys. We'll call it a wrap on that, so we'll pop in here and see kind of what the area roughly looks like. And Oh, it's back to the forest, so we we're kind of already here a little bit. First little story dynamic. Oh, we got like some automated magic relic type enemies. That's interesting. Yeah, they don't, they don't got what it takes. Oh. Well, I'm sorry I didn't believe in you guys, because they, they got it out of control. So, kind of back to the forest. It's a nice little big majestic looking area here for sure. Uh, this is where we'll be starting our quest. It's like a fall type looking me? area. Or is there something strange about I just got my one companion, it, it turns out right now, because... Uh, like My other lady was still injured, so I had a choice a there to uh, let her stay behind, so I did that. So I just got the one. Now let's get a light look at the map. Oh, there's nothing revealed yet because I haven't been anywhere. But that's where we're going to call it for this one, guys. Um, I'm just going to kind of start exploring here, and hopefully I'll see you guys. It'll be a little bit of a time jump for the next video, but we'll see what I got going on, how the lighthouse is different. We'll see another realm beyond this one and what kind of companions slash skills I got. I sort of know what I'm going to... Some of the skills I'm going to be going for now. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I got a little rambly on this one. I don't get to talk as much in these, but hopefully it didn't bother you too much. And stay tuned for more, guys.